Hey guys, it's David from Crazy Englishman, and today we're going to be talking about Insidious Chapter 2. Just some of my thoughts, just some brief thoughts on the film, uh, as well as uh, an expansion of my thoughts on the maze, having seen Chapter 2 now. Um, with the film, I went in, I, and as I've said in the previous video, I loved Insidious. I thought it was one of the most original ghost films to come out in a long time. And I was really excited for Chapter 2, and I came across the trailer randomly online, and I was surprised myself that I hadn't heard about it, or the fact that they were making it, up until I saw that trailer. So, I was excited, and going into the film, I was a bit wary, I have to admit. I, I thought it would be a rehash uh, of the events of the first one. Um, I was pleasantly surprised. It, it really didn't. The story was expanded. It felt like a, a true continuation and connection to the first one. Um, the the entities uh, felt more threatening. In the first one, you had the demon, which was the most threatening antagonist of all the all the spirits, but. That was a singular entity, and you had the long-haired fiend, but he was more of a minor kind of antagonist. But in this one, you feel like the entities, every single one felt threatening. Uh, there wasn't one that you didn't feel like the main characters were not in danger. Um, when they see them, you, you fear for their safety, and that's great. That's another part of why I really like James Wan as a director. He makes you feel... Uh, for these characters, and that you want them to survive. And I was literally on the edge of my seat watching this film. Uh, it scared me in ways I thought it, it couldn't possibly uh, do, because the first one was creepy. That's as far as I would take it. It was creepy. Uh, it did make me jump a couple times when I saw it in the theater, but for the most part, it was creepy. The atmosphere was the, one, the thing that got me the most... But Insidious 2, um, it's been a long time, being a horror fan, that I felt fear in a, in a movie theater and been gripping the edge of my seat. Um, but Insidious 2 pulled it off. And I'm very happy, because for the first time, a horror film generally scared me. And I'm sitting there with my friend Matt, who went with me, um, and we both talked about it after. And... He's, we both said, yeah, um, there was a creepy film, very, uh, I mean, he, he, he didn't find it uh, as scary as I did, but there were things in there that physically disturbed me, and it, it wasn't gory, that's the thing, it wasn't that kind of disturbing where it was gory, but it was some of the elements, and I'm trying to avoid spoilers here, um, because it's a film worth seeing without spoiling it for yourself because some of the things you find out in the film I, I never saw coming um, something eh, one or two things I did but for the most part you don't but there are elements in the film and I'm talking about story elements of, like I said I'm trying to avoid spoilers that disturb me watching the film because I've seen the first film it adds up so if you haven't seen the first one, definitely before seeing the second one, if you can, watch it, because you'll be um, gasping at things. You're like, oh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I recognize that. So I'm very happy with the second one, and I will definitely see it again uh, when I can. Um, moving on from that, we have the maze. Now that I've seen the second one, I can see where they're putting stuff in from the second one into the maze. Um... The woman, uh, I believe I mentioned her in the first video, uh, she does play a, a definite role in the second film, and I'm pretty sure she's going to be in the maze. Um, the uh, Without going too far into it, uh, the, the old woman plays a bigger role in the second one, uh, and she, having seen this expansion of this mythology of the first film, it's definitely going to be a scary entity to encounter in the maze. Um, really, 
uh, the further is definitely expanded upon as well. Um, just, it, it, I mean, it's very similar, but I don't know if they're going to keep into the further and not do reality. Like, kind of like where the first part is the house, uh, both houses, and then they go into the further, and it remains into the further, even with the new locations in uh, Chapter 2. So I'm not sure for uh, how they're going to do that. But the entities, I think, are going to work really well. Uh, this isn't spoiling anything, but you saw in the trailer, I'm sure, the, the, the groups with all the, um, the blankets over the heads uh, just in the line. My friend Matt, we were discussing this, how they would utilize it in the maze, and I kind of agree with him. I see where he's coming from, is where he said, I bet they'll have them scattered around this one big room, and one or two of them are going to be scare actors. And... <laughs> Uh, yeah. it, it it would give the kind of feel of last year's Silent Hill maze with the nurses where they're just dead still and they would uh, jump out at you with strobe and I think that's going to be a very effective scare if John Murdy's going that approach um, there was a lot uh, there was a lot in that film I could see being put in the maze and overall it's just an exciting concept um the seance scene, uh, the, the way the dice would work. I, I don't know if he would do the dice. Um, there's a new way of, uh, again, without giving away anything, um, there's a new way of communicating with the dead where they use dice. Um, and it would be interesting to see if they're on like the table somewhere and they do flip. Um, they kind of vibrate, or even if they vibrate. Um, where you go to Elise's house uh, in her uh, seance room. I know John has mentioned that a seance room will be in the maze. I'm not sure if it's the first one where they're trying to contact Dalton for the first time, but in Chapter 2, um, there is Elise's seance room, which does have some effective kind of dark areas where they can put scare actors. So, in conclusion, uh, Insidious is looking to be, I think, one of the scariest mazes. Uh, having seen Chapter 2, I think, uh, I told Matt, my friend Matt this, and I'm like, I I think uh, Insidious might be the scariest maze there for me. Um, and for other people too. Um, and uh, John just released uh, a new in behind the screams video involving uh, uh, James and Jason Lee uh, talking about how they would do a paranormal maze. Uh, I'll link it in the description below uh, so you guys can see it, but um, I, I think it's going to be one of the scariest this year. So uh, the next video I'll be posting will will involve a new maze. Uh, I'm thinking either El Kakoi or Walking Dead or Black Sabbath. I, I'll, I'll decide very soon which one I want to talk about. But uh, yeah, I, I hope you guys enjoyed this series of videos. And uh, I'm inter again, I'm interested to see what you guys think of this year's event, uh, some of the mazes. Uh, in this video, I, I'm interested to see what you guys think of Insidious, or if you've seen Chapter 2, what you thought of the movie. Uh, just comment below, and I'll, I'll be interested to read them. So, uh, you, yeah, guys. Um, so the, vi the next video will be up as soon as I can. And, uh, yeah, have a good day, guys.